Yo, what's going on, everybody out there? Mr. Sandman signing back in real quick. Keep it short and sweet real quick. Now, I see this dude up over here, motherfucking Vince McMahon and all that. They're about to get sued. You know what I'm saying? And um, the shareholders is about to sue WWE and Vince McMahon. And basically, this all started from when they had this uh, meeting or whatever, you know, when it comes to their quarterly meetings or how much money they done stacked up. And, of course, the numbers are low. And guess what this motherfucking Vince McMahon does? He says the reason why the numbers are low or whatever... You know, there's no money being pumped right now. It's because basically everybody that's on the roster. He buried everybody on the fucking roster. My God, Vince. He didn't even sit there and be like, yo, you know what? I take some blame in that, you know. I fucked up, you know. I'm impatient when it, co I'm, when it comes to building stars. I've, I've become impatient. I take that, you know. He even said that. He didn't even say nothing like that. He just sat there and buried Ricochet. He buried Bray Wyatt. He buried Sasha Banks. He, matter of fact, he ain't buried Charlotte, though. Ain't that funny? You buried everybody else, but you ain't buried Charlotte. Fuck out of here. Out of all people, you ain't buried this bitch. This fucking bitch, and he and then I, I guess he didn't he didn't say nothing crazy about Roman Reigns either. I guess you could say no, nah, he didn't. He didn't blame Roman Reigns either. He blamed basically all the new motherfuckers from NXT, like your War Raiders, like your Ricochet, like your um. Can I can I call Buddy Murphy? Nah, I don't. Not really. But that's what he, that's what he's blaming. Like, yo, my man, how could you blame these dudes? You're the one that's having the final say on their booking. You the one that want to sit there and have these dudes. First of all, they, they will show up out of nowhere. No vignettes. No nothing. They don't, they don't cut no promo, nothing. And I'm tired of people sitting there and say, oh, they can't cut a promo or whatever because they don't know how to talk. Understand, understand that, but the same token, how the fuck people are going to know who these motherfuckers are? How are they going to know who they are coming from NXT? Yes, us that watch NXT, we know who they are, but how the new people going to know, the, the, how is these dudes that watch Raw and SmackDown going to know who these people are? Of course people's going to tune out, because they're going to be like, Yo, who the hell is this dude? Oh, come on. Oh, when they want to have interest... What they do, have them always lose or always put them in rematch, rematch after rematch after rematch. That's why this shit is dwindling down, Vince. I'm glad you're getting sued. Would this wake him up? No, because he has a lawyer that's been with him for like, what, 30 years that eat cases for lunch. So he, of course, he win that if if um the lawsuit follows through. Of course, he's gonna win that. Come on, this lawyer plays no games. This dude's been eating cases for lunch for like what thirty years. It's just ridiculous. Like damn, be like, oh man, you just said that you just buried everybody and then sit there and say, oh, the reason why the range is down is because of Brock Lesnar. The Reigns been down when Brock Lesnar was there. You didn't see no, no rise in the Reigns when Lesnar was barely there. No. It's always been on the downward spiral. Not a downward spiral, but it was always lowering little by little. Oh, yeah, I stayed at the two million mark. When Lesnar was there, this shit ain't go up to like 4.0s. This just stayed at 2.0s around that area. The fuck out of here. Now y'all motherfuckers getting sued because the shareholders is feeling like, yo, y'all motherfuckers is playing our damn money. And y'all shareholders is just as fucking dumb. 
Y'all sitting there investing in this damn company. Don't know what y'all putting your damn money in. And now y'all losing money. Y'all, this is fucking stupid. Do I feel sorry for y'all? Hell no. I said, let's just show all y'all motherfuckers out there. Know what the fuck you're investing in before you put your money in something. <laughs> Peace out, motherfuckers. Get them. Get them. Punk ass WWE.